Hi, I'm Michael Breen with EV West and today we have a treat for you. We have a 1963 Volkswagen Classic Beetle that we just converted for a customer and we want to take a little bit of time to show you some of the nice features of this car. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are at the front of our Beetle, and the nice thing about this conversion is we utilized the factory gas tank location. We removed it and created a custom battery box that actually uses the factory bolt locations for the gas tank. So we didn't have to drill any holes or do any modifications to the front. And what we did was we managed to fit a spare tire in here, which uh, is kind of rare amongst Volkswagen uh, conversions. We also have our aluminum battery box up here that's custom made to fit in here. And we have our little uh, marine board lid. I'm gonna take this off for you, and you can take a look we have our box in here. We have our fuse inside the battery box. We have our steel hold downs and our 6061 aluminum battery straps. Makes for a really clean, really efficient setup in the front of this car. That's about all there is to see up here. I know some of you guys in the last video were asking to really see the batteries. There they are. Again, not much to see, but uh, let's go take a look at the back of the car where the motor and the rest of the components are. If you've never done an electric car before, we estimate that this is a one to two week conversion with our kit. It's a straight, drop-in kit, everything bolts in, and there's very, very minimal alteration to the car. And we really like to see that. So here we are taking a look at the dashboard, and you'll notice we really maintained a factory look. We just have one gauge in there, just to the right of the speedometer. We've installed a Xantrex Link Pro, and of course this gives us our voltage and state of charge and other important details about the battery pack. Okay, so here we are at our rear battery box. This is situated right behind the rear seat and it really doesn't take up much cabin space. So it's uh, nice and convenient back here. We've currently got the lid off the box so you can see some of the detail work inside the battery compartment. All right, so here we are back at the engine compartment on our Volkswagen, and this is where this conversion really shines. We spend a lot of time back here on aesthetics to really make the engine compartment look clean. So we're gonna take a look at some of the components. Starting at the top, we have our PFC 2500 charger by Elcon, great little charger. We can charge it 110 volts and 220. This conversion is equipped with a level two J1772 charge port right here. So it's nice and accessible for the customer. We have our DC converter over here in the back corner, and then we have our liquid cooling, our radiator vents, and our pump and reservoir over here. And that uh, liquid cools our Curtis 1238-6501 controller with our AC50 uh, AC motor underneath it. So, what we did is we really spent a lot of time cleaning this up. We have this kit. This will be available online at evwest.com and you can basically do the same thing to your bug. Make it nice and clean and mean as ever. All right, let's go for a ride in this thing and check it out. See what it's really like. All right, so here we are getting ready to take a little drive in the bug. Uh, again, no starting the engine. Just turn the key on, put it in first gear, and we're ready to go. Just like that. Again, we're not using the clutch. We don't have to uh, feather the clutch when we roll away. It's a nice thing about this. You know, online we get a lot of questions that people ask about transmissions and uh, why we like them, why we use them. We really prefer a car with a manual transmission. That way you can kind of adjust the gear to, to the speed that you drive and the amount of torque that you need at the moment. Uh, generally speaking, you kind of just leave it in one or two gears, uh, usually like second or third gear. Um, you know, these little AC motors are so torquey, you can actually start off in third gear, which is kind of nice. Uh, that way you don't have to shift, you don't have to worry about using the clutch. Uh, we have customers that don't even know how to use a standard transmission and they have no problem driving an electric car. So that's kind of nice to know. So here I am in third gear. I'm just gonna give it gas. We're just gonna cruise away. Again, there's just no lack of power, no lack of acceleration. Um, third gear will take you all the way up to 60 miles an hour in this car, so. Uh, Really not much of a need to spend a lot of time shifting and finding that perfect gear. You know, I gotta tell you, in my younger days, I spent a lot of time in Volkswagens, but never liked them as much as this one. They were always slow and stinky, etc. But this car's great, nice and quiet, plenty of power. It just surges when you hit the pedal. And uh, really starting to think I should be in a Volkswagen again. All right, well, that about wraps up our drive in our 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. I gotta say, I'm really liking this car. I, uh, I don't wanna give it back to the customer, but uh, well, I guess I got to. Anyways, let's head back to the shop and uh, finish up this walkthrough. Man, I gotta tell you, before we get back to the shop here, you know, we, we have a lot of opportunities to drive a lot of different cars here at EV West. And uh, this one, it just really speaks to your soul. It is just so much fun. There's something about it. It's light, 
It's maneuverable. It's a great little chassis. You know, Volkswagens have been around forever. Anybody can work on them. And this is a perfect platform for a DIY electric car conversion. All right, well, that concludes our video walkthrough of our 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. For more updates on vehicles that we're doing, check us out at evwest.com or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash electricvehiclewest. For EV West, I'm Michael Bream, and we'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Michael Breen with EV West, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is the typical battery that we use in our electric car conversions over here. Uh, this particular one is a, a Voltronics 160 amp hour. And there's a lot of talk about how dangerous these batteries are, how toxic, or how recyclable, good, bad, whatever for the environment. Uh, so we just wanted to kind of look at it. We just, we're going to cut one open today and take a look at the inside and just kind of show you guys what's going on with these batteries and uh, how clean and how recyclable that we feel they really are. So let's go ahead and cut one of these open and take a quick look at inside of it. Okay, well that was easy. We just basically cut the bottom off of the battery. Here's our case. And uh, the anodes and cathodes just slid right out of it. Let me set that down there. So uh, there's just a little bit of electrolyte in here. There's not much fluid. It's not like your typical flooded lead acid battery that's gonna have uh, tons of electrolyte. It's just, uh, just a couple drips and a little bit of dampness. But uh, this is what I wanted to show you. So we have a little protective layer there. And then inside we get into the anodes and the cathodes and they're basically just a little carbonized copper sheet here and then underneath that is a uh, aluminum foil sheet. And it just kind of repeats this all the way through here and, uh, and that's essentially your battery. Now we get asked about the recyclability of these. If you look here, this is uh, essentially just a copper sheet. You can see uh, the copper, some of the carbon coming off there and uh, our two little terminals. This is aluminum over here and this is copper over here. And that's essentially it. Just wanted to uh, unlock a little bit of the mystery. A lot of people uh, don't want to go cutting into their couple hundred dollar lithium iron phosphate batteries so we figured we'd do it for you. Uh, you know, it, there was a little bit of energy in the cell when I cut into it. We feel pretty safe around these batteries. Uh, I think a lot of the, the fear is just a little bit of fear of the unknown. So um, if you're uh, bored and you want to cut into your batteries, this is what you're going to find. And uh, other than that, if you have some dead cells, we encourage you to send them to your local electronics recycling. Uh, they love these things. There's tons of recyclable materials in here. Uh, the plastic case is all recyclable, so that will go to the plastic recyclers. 
Um, this is a nice chunk of copper right there, nice chunk of aluminum, and uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed our quick little battery dissection today, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. With uh, EV West, I'm Michael Bream, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching.